All right. So here we are today with uh, one of LA's own mastering engineers, Bob Lancer. And uh, he's been mastering my stuff for about the past five years. We just wrapped up a new record, did an awesome job. And uh, yeah, so Bob, uh, could you tell us a little bit about what you do here in the studio and, and what is mastering? Because a lot of people watching might uh, you know, not know anything about the process. They might be recording at home or have home studios. So yeah, what is mastering? Yeah, John, uh, there's what I would call two different types of mastering. Um, what I do is full analog mastering, meaning it's all running through tubes. Uh, and very, very high-end uh, boxes for uh, the last part of the, the digital processing. Um, most people uh, are doing something what they call inside the box, but with plugins. And, uh, you know, you can get a, a decent sound from that, but you're never going to get that world-class sound that everybody is looking for. Um, what I really do is, after somebody like yourself, uh, you know, has music recorded, mixed, um, to get that radio sound, to get all those frequencies that are in the way, uh, you know, we can cut those um, using extremely expensive boxes to do it. Um, you accentuate, you know, certain sounds that, uh, again, through EQ and very high-end uh, compression and limiting, um, again, the overall idea is to get that amazing sound, that what they call the radio sound. Uh, even though, you know, I work with literally some of the biggest people in the world, uh, one of the things that's important to me is that this is an indie world. And for somebody like yourself, in some ways, I take even more pride. Um, John, all of my other clients who are indie, uh, get the same amount of attention. I try to teach them about what they can do uh, in their mixes uh, to take the best advantage of what you know Class A full-on analog mastering can do to make your sound really amazing. And he does it. I mean, he's taken my mixes that are just, you know, they sound great, but I mean, by the time he's done, it, it sounds like a lot of money <laughs> went into it. So. Yeah, and, and you, uh, who are some of the artists, I mean, you've, you've worked with or have come through your studio over the years? Well, you know, the biggest uh, artists would pe be people like Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, Neo, um, we've had Kiss, The Who, uh, Nora Jones. Um, and then all the way down to indie artists, you know, people well, coming up. Well, I don't up. say down. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that, you know, if we're going to, you know get real about it. Uh, to me, it is an indie world. I recognize this long before when all the majors, you know, were putting out the singles and doing the radio promotion. Uh, an indie artist is what this world is about. I think it's imperative uh, and of the, the most importance that uh, people realize that you know, everything can be done in a home studio at an extremely high level. It doesn't mean that you can master. It's the one area where you still have to come in because it's not just the equipment. It's not just the $250,000 uh, pair of speakers to be able to hear things so accurately to be able to adjust them. But a mastering engineer's ears is what you're paying for. And it's that sensibility, uh, especially the fact that, you know, people, um, you know, unless they dedicate their entire lives to mixing, uh, they still may not get everything right. And what we're trained to do uh, is to take uh, the artist. Um, that's why I make no differentiation. That's why nobody gets any less care, less concern. Um, I applaud the indie artist and I actually in some ways take more pride in uh, making an indie artist successful who doesn't have any radio promotion, doesn't know anybody, but their music sounds so amazing that they become incredibly successful. That's amazing. Bob, 
thank you so much for taking the time and uh, you can check out www.technovoice is it Techno Voice Studios? Technovoice.com. Technovoice.com, and we'll put a link. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time, and I hope people are inspired to make some more music. Absolutely, John. Thank you. I want to take a moment <laughs> and look at my life. I'm thankful for the opportunities that have arrived.